A windless anchor road is an anchor road that can work with windless anchoring system installations. In this video, we will explain you how to build your customized windless anchor road, or how to choose from a pre-assembled one. Most of today's windlasses are equipped with gypsies that can work with rope and chain. Most windlasses in the market and all our Five Oceans windlasses series work with both. Their modern gypsy shape allows this thanks to the cleat design they have inside. It makes it workable with rope and calibrated chain. For the chain and rope to work together in the windlass, we will need a splice that will connect them both, making a smooth transition between rope and chain in the windlass. This is the secret, the union between chain and rope with a handcrafted splice. Knowing certain information about our vessel is essential before selecting, anchoring, and docking materials. This information will allow us to choose materials and sizes correctly. Boat displacement. This information is important because the vessel's displacement gives us an idea of its weight. A boat's displacement is the weight of the volume of water displaced when floating. The weight of the displaced water is equal to the buoyant force at the bottom of the boat to make it float. When this force is similar to the boat's weight, it floats. This is clearly explained in the Archimedes principle. Boat length. It is always essential to consider the boat's length. It relates to the effects the ship will receive from winds and currents requiring different anchoring holding power. In addition to the length, there are other factors. For example, the type of design is essential. Boats with a more significant structure above the waterline are more sensitive to the actions of the wind. The depth where the boat usually anchors. To select our windless anchor road, we need to know the depth in the area where we usually anchor. For correct anchoring, we must have an anchor road with a length between four to seven times the depth, depending on weather conditions, currents, and type of vessel. That way, we can anchor with the correct catenary to make the anchor work more efficiently. For example, if the depth is 10 feet, the anchor road length has to be between 40 to 70 feet, including everything anchor, chain, rope, etc., etc. Use of boat, commercial or recreational. The selection of materials can sometimes change due to the type and intensity of use of an anchor road. The use of a commercial vessel usually requires oversizing some materials. First, we have to choose the rope size and length. All windless anchor roads are made with 100% nylon three strand. The elasticity of the rope makes the rope more suitable for all anchoring systems. We have three different size options. Half an inch, 9 16th inches, 5 8th inches. The windless anchor roads must be made with calibrated chain. Calibrated means they have been designed to work with windless gypsies. If the chain is not calibrated, it won't work with the windless. There are two types of material, galvanized or stainless steel. The stainless steel chain is better quality and most recommended, but is also more expensive. That is why we also have the galvanized option, which is more economical. We have three different sizes for each type of material. A quarter inch, 5 16 inches, 3 8 inches. Normally, the chain length used in this kind of anchor roads is between 15 to 20 feet of chain. With more chain, you will obtain a better scope, catenary. Also, by having chain, the rope will not be damaged by the friction with the seabed. Keep in mind your anchor locker size when you make any of these selections. Finally, you will need to choose the attachment. You can leave it as it is or add an attachment to the anchor locker. We also offer pre-assembled windless anchor roads. You can check them out on our website, www.5-oceans.com. With this information, you will be able to choose yours or even customize your own.